Isn't that so beautiful that India's, what Sri Yukteswar too said in the autobiography, India's deathless contribution to the world's treasury of knowledge is this breath mastery. And if we can, and that is why Kriya is such an essential science because we need to cut through. You all remember that myth of the Gordian knot and no one could untie the knot until, you know, Alexander came with his sword and he cut the knot. This is like the super conscious sword of divine experience that we have that just, it cuts through, right? All the veils beyond a shadow of a doubt when you have that divine experience. No one has to tell you. I don't have to tell you, David, about it. You've experienced it. I don't have to tell you, Allison. You've experienced, we've all had um, touches of these divine experiences in our lives. I remember when I used to play a lot of soccer growing up and I was, I had read, if you're familiar with um, Joseph Campbell, and he gave this beautiful interview. He wrote about myth and how uh, he, he wrote the hero's journey and talked about everything from Star Wars to the Upanishads and how everyone is on this journey. We're all on this hero's journey. And that, of course, the battle, as we know, is right within our own selves. But Joseph Campbell used to ask this question before I found Master and Swami and Ananda, and I knew how to actually introspect and find the answer. But he used to say, where are you between thoughts? I used to think about that. <laughs> where are you between, where are you between thoughts? It's just, it was, you know, like, what's the sound of one hand clapping, right? It's like one of those, uh, I forget the Japanese word where, you know, master used to do that. He would just say something to get you out of your intellect. And, you know, in fact, Ram Dass, when he met his guru, Neem Kurli Baba, it's exactly what Neem Kurli Baba did, that he... Ram Dass was so intellectual and his mother had passed away and, and he went out and looked up at the stars one night and the next day he met Neem Kurli Baba and Neem Kurli Baba said, you walked out last night, you looked up to the stars, you were thinking about your mother, how she passed away, how she died of spleen. And he just, he cut through all his mentation and he got into his heart and then he just started to cry. But coming back to Joseph Campbell, this question always came into my mind. Where, where are you between thoughts? And I remember one day I was just kicking, hot summer day, I had sold some produce with my friend. Uh, I grew up with an Italian buddy and they, we sold a lot of produce and then I went to play soccer and I was just kicking a soccer ball off the wall. It was hot. And then I just stopped and I turned and the opposite side were trees and the trees were just blowing in the breeze. And the answer to that question came in. And I thought intuitively, I'm with the trees. Isn't it true for all of us that we have these moments, right? We just have these flashes of intuitive perception where we attune to a greater reality. And this is why Kriya is so incredibly powerful because, wow, we get hypnotized, right? We, I mean, Maya is strong. The, the hypnotism, the miasma of this world to just make us think, well, we've gone through it for so many incarnations. We've, you know, the Lord knows. He set up the drama. She did it to us. We're habituated. The energy goes out. So we're habituated to look outside. But when we begin to withdraw that energy within our own self, through a, a scientific technique, right, that has been practiced for millennia. And, you know, what is the proof? Of course, this is what a materialist, right? This is what empirical research partners, right, or the people on Wall Street would say, well, what's your proof? How do you know that this works? How do you prove that God exists? You remember how Yogananda used to answer that question? You practice Kriya Yoga and the joy that you feel that is the proof of the existence of God. But he was putting it back to us. You know, he was saying, you, practice it yourself because that is why the, the guru has come, right? Not to give us the psychological push, but to give us the intuitive touch, the intuitive perception. 